Say good morning. Good morning. Where are we? To Chessington. Oh, we were at Chessington. Look. Oh, look what <laughs> happened over here. What happened over there? The barrier fell down because it's windy. Are we going to have a fun day though? Yeah. It's the first day of like the theme park season, isn't it? Which means we get to go on all the rides and we think Oliver may be tall enough for vampire. <gasps> yeah, you were 1.10 yesterday, were you? So you're just enough tall enough for it. So we're going to go to vampire first and see if we can get on that, aren't we? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go enjoy some rides. We're going to see what's new for this year and we'll see obviously Mandrill Mayhem and the world of Jumanji and get a little look at that as well before it opens later on in May. But let's go! We're in, aren't we? Let's go. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's see if we can get you on vampire. Come on then. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's going. Let's see if we can get you on this. Right, go stand against that silver pole. Stand here, Baba. Stand here. That's it. Put your back against it. Just put your feet back. Oh, it's close. Very close. Come on, then, let's go see. Let's go. Turn back. <laughs> let's go, ride vampire. Well, that guy reckons he's tall enough. Let's go, vampire! What did you just do? Um, a bat. What's it called? The vampire. He was tall enough. Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> In the queue, he was like, went zooming. You went zooming around, didn't you? In the air. Yeah, you put your hands up for the drop, you let out a little ah, and then a whoa. And then at the end, he was like saying something about how he was like, Wee, whoosh. You really liked it, didn't you? I love that he enjoyed that. Nothing saves him. Should we go to the Gruffalo now? Let's go. Next up is the Gruffalo. Showing his back soon, but we've come straight into the building. It'll be near enough straight on. Yay! The Gruffalo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> and the mouse looks good! Whee! <laughs> You could read us this story, couldn't you? Yeah. I don't see him, I just see all... Oh, there he is! We're very spinny this time, aren't we? Spin, spin, spin! Your taste good on a slice of bread. <laughs> owl ice cream. Oliver spotted that. Little owl like topiary. They got loads around, haven't they? They're really cool. Did you like the gruffalo? Everyone likes the gruffalo. So we've done vampire and gruffalo already. <laughs> Oliver wants to go on Dragon's Fury, bless him. He's not quite tall enough yet, but one day 
but we're gonna go for a wander around now, check out what's new in the park, and do some more rides. Dragon Fury is his favourite. Such a coaster hill, I love it. It's so cute. It's kind of new for this year. It's a little barrel water ride that spins round, and then you can shoot each other and get wet. <laughs> That's a big coaster, that one. So the big thing new for this year at Chessington is the world of Jumanji. Look at that. Whoa. That's a mini coaster ride. That's a mini coaster ride. And that's the new one, look. World of Jumanji. And Manhill uh, Mayhem. Mandrill Mayhem. B&M Wing Coaster. How cool is that? Yeah, we did. That's right. Well remembered. We've been following along this, haven't we? There it is. Got the Jaguar, the broken track. That looks very cool. That looks like so much fun. So Jumanji's not ready yet. It opened on the 15th of May, which is just under two months' time. But we're super excited. We can't wait to get back to it. It's going to be so much fun. What have you found? <laughs> He's found a giraffe! Transport's Jungle Rangers, Dragon's Fury, is already 75 minutes. But it is opening weekend here. But that's okay, we'll just get on what we can and enjoy being out for the day. There it goes! Next up, Jungle Rangers! 10 minute wait. Let's go! So the park has been open for about 35 minutes. Quick look at the wait times. Most things are 5 minutes. Apart from some of the more popular stuff, Jungle Rangers is 10, the Gruffalo is 20, which isn't too bad. And then kind of more family rides. You've got Barrel Bale out, which is the ride we saw a minute ago. That's 5 minutes. Tuck to Terminal, 5 minutes. Tomb Blaster, 5. Safari's closed, but I think it opens at 1. And Sea Storm shut at the minute as well. And then kind of bigger rides and coasters, we'll come on to that. We've got Blue Barnacle at 5, uh, Tiger Rocks 5, Cobra 10, Crop Drop 15, Vampire's already at 80 minutes, Dragon's Fury's at 75. Rattlesnake and Scorpion Express are actually closed for the moment, but not too bad so far. And what about the bat? <laughs> Did you like the bat ride? <laughs> yeah, you went whoosh wee, didn't you? But it's so much fun that ride, isn't it? Yeah, you put your hands up like a <laughs> No, you are very good. So this is what we're going on now, Jungle Rangers. Nice little ride just to sit down for a minute. It's one of the slower riding sorry, slower loading rides. One more ride and then what? <laughs> You're already thinking about food. <laughs> Are you going to drive us? Are you meant to watch the road, pal? <laughs> Remember, when you see the animal, you press the button, okay, for the reach animal, yeah? So which one's first? Oh! The toucan! One person can't sit up front, but two can. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Can we go on that one? You want to go on crop drop? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the river rafts one. I was going to say. I admire your enthusiasm, pal. You're not tall enough for crop drop. We'll maybe go on the river rafts, but it's a little bit cold, so that one's better for summer. Nice peaceful drive through the forest. Ah, oh, look at the elephant! He's cute! Oh, oh, you did it! Good job! Nicely spotted! There they are! That's the one! You're very good at this now! Aren't you? 
You're very good at this. So we've had our ride on Jungle Rangers, haven't we? And now we're going to go on Toon Blaster. Let's go. I think it's five minutes. So might as well while we're out this way. Yay! Yeah, you like this one, don't you? Let's go! Oh, up the steps. Are you ready to pew pew? You ready? Yeah, that's it. Ready? Pew pew pew! Guys, we're coming up! Gotta get the mummy. Ready? Go! <laughs> You're doing so good. Oh no, they got 1375. We only got 15,000, but that's really good for Bubba. Yeah. So we've been and done Tomb Blaster, just washed our hands as we're now heading to lunch, but it's gone 20 past 11. We've done four of the kind of big rides and what have you, so that's good. We're gonna go for some lunch now, while everyone else enjoys the park. And then when they go and get lunch, we can do all the rides. So let's go and grab something to eat. Going through like the Mexican area of the park almost. Scorpion Express is shut for the moment. Opens up later on. What rattlesnake? You're not quite tall enough. You need to be 10 centimeters taller. Yeah, there's a cowboy there, isn't there? So rattlesnake shut for the moment, but we'll open up soon again as well. Let's go. What did you just say? No, before that, you said Chessington is really fun, didn't you? Oh, I love that you love it here. So we've just been and had lunch in Vampire Kitchen, which was nice. We had burgers, Oliver had chicken nuggets, and he actually finished it. Now we're going to wander around the animals and the uh, like sea lions and stuff, let the food settle before we go and do some more rides. But the sun is even trying to come out, which is nice. But Go for an explore around the animals. See what we can see. What's in this one, Oliver? Oh, look! Whoa, Oliver, look! He came out of nowhere. Oliver, look at him! Look, look, look! look. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he's like, can I have some of your lemonade? Hello. Ah. <laughs> found the lions. The Asiatic lions. Ah, oh, they're sat having cuddles and asleep, aren't they? Ah. Having some sleep. That's a pretty enclosure, isn't it? You see the waterfall down there. That's nice, isn't it? 
Oh, I don't know where they are. They must be sleeping somewhere. They're not there, are they? Maybe I'm going to Yeah. Dog. They can do all sorts of things like spin, dance, and walk on the land. So Carla is walking on the land for you right now. Everyone give her a cheer. Seals, however, can't do this because of the size of their flippers. So you held out your arm for me earlier. If you hold out just your hand in front of you now, this is the size of a seal's front flipper. So these front flippers are really small and it means that seals are flat to the ground and they can move around on the land and slide on their bellies like big fat slugs. Carly does <laughs> such a good impression. Everyone give her a big cheer. Ah, look at her. Now guys, who wants to see how fast Carla can go? Give a really big cheer. Shira, clap her as she goes along. She loves a fuss, everyone. She is so fast. Give her another big round of applause again. This now is. We do say this lovingly, but they look a little bit like Shrek's ears. Sea lions have an external ear structure whereas seals have an internal ear structure, so they've just got little holes on the side of their head. So if you're ever out and about by the sea and you spot a little head in the water, look for the ears. If they're there, it's a sea lion. If they're not, it's a seal. So guys, I wanted to hear you shout really loudly if you think that you know the difference between a seal and a sea lion. <laughs> we can't quite hear you. Say it again, give me really the cheer. <laughs> Well done, everyone. So, we've spoken to you today about the similarity, the differences between a seal and a sea lion. I'm going to tell you a bit. Of, luckily, there aren't any, any predators here at Chesterton, but Carla does like to check her paws to make sure. So cute. Can anyone tell me what <laughs> a predator of a sea lion might be? Shout really loudly if you can. Sea lions, and this is for a number of reasons. The first reason that we train our sea lions is to make sure that they're really fit and really healthy. During training, we can ask the sea lions to do lots of really high energy behaviours, like Alice is asking now. And this means that we can get them moving, using all of their muscles, and get them to stay in really good shape. The second reason that we train our sea lions is to keep them mentally stimulated. So Carla is really, really smart, guys. Smarter than even your smartest dog you've ever known. And it's really important to keep her brain working <laughs> through the day. <laughs> Carla and Ariel know about 60 different behaviours, whereas Hugo, our baby, is beginning to learn and he's already... Did we just watch some of the sea lions? They're so cute, aren't they? I can do it. They do the little ar ar ar. <laughs> it's so cute. We've been here loads, haven't we? And seen them like swimming around, but Hello, never actually caught a show. But there we go. Oh, but that's so much fun. This is the new ride. Barrel bailout. Five minutes. 0.9 meters tall to ride. You could do that, Baba. There you go. You sit in the barrels with all the turrets. It spins around, and you can squirt each other. It must look quite fun. Actually, you might have to do that. Maybe not on a cold day, but... Here's another look at Mandrill Mayhem. It's not testing at the moment, but it's in the station. You can see the monkey on the train there, the Mandrill. All the different test dummies. But this area is looking really cool, actually. Won't be too long and then it'll be opened. Or you can enjoy the world of Jumanji. It's going to be such a good ride, I think. The only thing I'm not too sure about with that is going to be the throughput because it's just the one train. It's the uh, basically it does a, a launch back, then forward through the station, does the course, and then comes back. But that means obviously you've only got one train loading at any time because it's just the one. So it's a bit of a shame really in that regard. But I think it'll be a good addition. But more so, it's just nice to see Merlin actually investing in the park for a change. So and it's being M coaster, which means it's going to be good. And it's a wing coaster, so it'll only be the second one in the UK. The other one being Swarm at Thorpe Park. So. Yeah, I'm kind of intrigued to see what the throughput would be like, but looking forward to getting on it anyway in May when it opens. Griffin's Galleon. That looks fun. Should we go on that one? The spinning boat? 
Yeah, come on then, let's go. Well, there's a staff member there, but it's not actually open, so that's a shame. We'll wander around here and check out the, the playhouse or something. As it's a quiet walk on, let's go and see dragons for a little boat ride. Unfortunately, all the boats there on that one were actually filled with water, so if we put our shoes in it, we literally had our shoes soaked through and through with muddy water, so I thought probably best not to for a ride like that. If it had been a water ride, it would have been different. We don't mind getting wet, but there's no point in soaking and ruining your shoes just for a little uh, kids ride. But Dragon's Fury is on 90 minutes, which is kind of crazy. We're going to head to the Dodgems, which should be a five or ten minute wait, so we're going to do that instead. So, let's go! This is another new thing for 2023. They've got the Coca-Cola style freestyle machines. So you pay about, I think it's 10 or 12 pound for a, a freestyle cup and then it's cheaper when you renew it next time. But you can obviously get refills and stuff throughout the day. But this one over is uh, by Cobra in Asia. And then there's uh, a couple of those dotted around the park as well that you can uh, obviously buy your holder and stuff from the uh, shops just over here. And then go and use those machines to fill up for uh, drinks throughout the day, which is quite nice. Are you ready? You ready for the dodgems? We're gonna bump into people. So bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh no. Collision. Already. Whee! We're on the outside. Ready. Whee! <laughs> you want me to bash them? No. <laughs> Just a little one o'clock update for you. Rattlestake's still shut. Vampire's 120 minutes. Dragon Fury's 90. Cobra 40. It's definitely getting busier. Whoa, superheroes. That is cool. So we're getting into the line now for Safari. It says it's 30 minutes, but I don't think it'll be that long, but we'll see either way. Nice to wait for a ride, sit down for a minute and go see some animals. So let's see how long this takes. Well, it's definitely not been a half hour wait. We're now at an hour and three minutes. So never mind, it's nearly there. So it's only taken us an hour and 20 minutes. So much for a half hour wait. But we're on. You ready? Yeah. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. It's like a roller coaster, isn't it? <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Oh. Whee! Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Oh. See what we see. What's in here? Oh look, there they are. Whoa. In the wild, the giraffe population has dropped by 40. Look at the giraffe, Papa. Aren't they cute? Supports giraffe conservation by funding scientific research. It's having a drink now, one. Improving security of the reserves. We think giraffes are some of the most amazing creatures on the planet. They can live up to 25 years in the wild. What do you see, Papa? What do you see? 
Please. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Good species. ticking off all the animals. <laughs> wow, Oliver, look, can you see him? Yeah, look, over there, look. They're impressive horns are made from a chemical uh, which is actually the same substance as your hair for fingernails. And it's highly prized in many cultures. Whoa! That's pretty. Well, 80 minutes later, we have done safari. It said half hour when we got there and half hour on the app. And then shortly after we joined the queue, so maybe 15 minutes into that, it was a 17 minute wait from the back. But we weren't actually near the back, so I thought maybe it would be okay. But by the time you get through the first set of queues, and they let all the kind of fast pass and stuff through, and then you actually get on the ride, you're enough for 18 minutes. But it was a good ride, but had it been that long, I would have actually gone on it. But never mind, we've got the ride done. Now we're gonna go get a snack a drink maybe do a couple more rides and start to think about leaving but nice day so far it is busy but the sun's out and it's good, uh, good to be back at the park somewhere have you we got a snack haven't we nice sugary donuts got 10 so we can take some home to mummy and we got some drinks and we got a caramel dipping sauce as well a little snack to tie us over till tea so they put the uh like Chessington Weather which is truck down here makes this really cool lion like topiary. Looks so cute, doesn't it? So cute. I love it. I go for a wander towards Room on a Broom, see the penguins and sea life, and start heading our way out. So I briefly mentioned it as we came into the park earlier. You got different events on this year, Easter, Mardi Gras. Wilderfest, Halloween, which will be very cool. There's more information about the annual passes, but lots of different events throughout the year, which is nice. Lots of fun themed dances, after hours things. Very, very cool. The Easter one looks really good fun. Room on a broom is 15 minutes. Let's go. Just some room on the broom, which is always a nice little ride for kiddies. And then just here as you come out, there's JJ from Coco Melon doing meet and greets as well, which is just funny. But Oliver isn't too fussed about meeting him, so we're going to walk down towards the penguins, maybe do sea life, then head on off. But Ruin of Rome is lovely. Oliver, bless him, really likes it. You can sit and listen to the story and just, you know, it's great for kids. But all oh, the penguins, they've just redone the uh, enclosure. So let's have a little look here. Yeah, there's a propeller and part of an airplane. And even a propeller. <laughs> look at all the little penguins. And even that. They're having a swim. A ring. <laughs> but the second ring. Yeah, it says Island Explore. Oh, that's so cool. So we are all done now. Sea life is shut, unfortunately. So we're going to make our way out of the park while we're by the exit. And then we can go head on home and beat traffic. But we've got an annual pass so we can come back again, can't we, next week if we want to. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back anyway because Kate will want to go on uh, Vampire with Oliver. And we just like um, <laughs> come in here and stuff. You can have a really nice chill day, can't you? Have you had fun? Yeah, it's been really nice. You've got to Vampire for the first time. We've enjoyed some of the other rides and what have you. And it's just nice to get out again on the weekend, have some fresh air and stuff and have a bit of an explore. But you've got World of Jumanji opening up in May as well with the um, Mandrill Mayhem coaster. Really super excited for that. 
but in the meantime though, that's going to be all for this video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Lots more theme park vlogs coming soon to the channel. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Benny, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Bye.